Hey guys, what's up? Daughter here, and I have a quick uh, Photoshop tutorial for you guys. Hopefully, you like it. Uh, if you do, make sure to thumbs up the video, it really helps. And you guys can suggest future tutorials down in the comments below. But this is just a quick tutorial on how to do uh, some indent lines. I was talking to a friend of mine, and he said that he'd always like or he he had always wanted to know how to do it and I told him it's a very simple effect to do um, and I said that I would do a tutorial for it so uh, this is the sort of thing we're going for right here uh, you can see we have uh, some sort of title and then uh, it's indented to, to make it stand out uh, here's what it looks like without the line so it's it's more for trying to put focus on uh, on a, a certain object so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide these two layers and then we're going to recreate the effect. What you want to do is you want to grab your line tool. Uh, it's packed in here with the rectangle uh, and polygon, ellipse and stuff. So grab your line tool. You want to start with a black line. You're going to hold shift, click, and then just drag out the line as far as you want it. And then what I do is I rasterize the layer. Then you want to hit Control J or Command J on a Mac, and you're going to hold Control and press the down arrow key. And what that does is it moves it one pixel down. Then you want to go into Layer Properties for the second line, the copy, and you want to go to Color Overlay and switch that to white. Then you want to make a layer on top of that. Hold Shift, select all three layers, and hit Control E or Command E to make it all one layer. Then you simply change the uh, layer style to overlay and there you have it. And then you can soften the edges with um, a nice eraser brush and then duplicate this. Hold on. Duplicate that. Combine these, set that back to overlay. And then pull our text back in real nice. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something and I hope you guys can integrate this into your own projects, whether it be personal or business or whatever. Make sure to leave a like uh, if you enjoyed the video and make sure to suggest future tutorials. Thanks.